All right, so Apple today finally dropped iOS 26 beta 5. This is obviously the first beta in August that they dropped as the last one came out around the 22nd of July, but it did come a day later than we expected. No big deal, it's here and hopefully bringing a ton of bug fixes and performance and battery stability and improvements because while beta 4 was good, there left a lot to be desired with that. And for the second time in two betas, we got another 10 gigabyte download. So beta four was 10 gigs and this came in at 10.45, pretty crazy. I will say the phone did feel a little cooler this time. We're not gonna do a temp check. I can tell the difference in when we need to do it and not. So we're not gonna run that one, but jumping into the settings general and about, you can see we look to be back on track now with a full build number of 23A5308G. I say back on track because we are finally now again moving towards the beginning of the alphabet. Prior to this, we were kind of going in the wrong direction. We thought they might have changed up their beta cycle and their process. However, it looks like we are now moving back to the beginning of the alphabet as you would have anticipated historically. So as soon as we hit a B build, we know we are close. And considering we really only have all of August to beta test with a week or two into September being the official unveiling and the gold release candidate, we don't have that many more betas to go. So showing a large beta download this time really does give us hope that Apple is working hard behind the scenes to improve this. So again, five betas in, we're not anticipating a lot of new features here. Let's go ahead and jump around the camera apps to see how liquid glass looks in these. It's looking pretty comparable again to what beta four look like. Let's go ahead and look at the control center. Yep, you can see it definitely looks more of the liquid glass design than frosted glass and how it kind of changed from the prior betas before beta four. So that's good to see. Let's jump in the music app because we've been able to really see difference in those. Oh, it looks like we have a new splash screen too. As you can see, it says auto mix. Like a DJ, auto mix seamlessly transitions from one song to the next. That has been in these betas for a while now. Lyrics, translation, and pronunciation. We know that's there. Pin music and replay. Check out your month by month and year end stats easily in the app. So quite a new splash screen here, but no new features. Again, these have been around since the beginning of the betas. And you can see right at the bottom again, it is much more transparent than what it has been prior to beta four. So definitely a fan here. It looks like Apple is going to be sticking with this look now, and I'm a big fan. I think this is what Apple's vision was. A couple posts online shouldn't change what they've been working on for three plus years. So it's good to see they went back to this and should now be what we'll see going forward as it stabilizes. Since we have had public beta one out already, we can anticipate beta two coming very soon and we'll talk about that here in a second. Before that though, let me just jump in and take a look at the modem version here. And it looks like we did get a little bump here. We're running 2.04.02, as you can see. So definitely good to see there as well. Let's see what the dev site actually says here and if it's been updated. Okay, so we do have iOS 26 beta five. And the release notes are still behind though, as they're still showing beta four. But if you're familiar, I would expect something very comparable to these long lists of known features or known issues and resolved issues as well. You can see, I mean, it was just an extensive list from beta four. Aside from that, like we said, let's go ahead and talk about these release cycles now that it should start stabilizing as well. So today is August 5th. We really anticipated this coming yesterday, but a day late is fine. Public beta two is what a lot of people are gonna be wondering about, and that can come as soon as Wednesday, but typically they do skip a day, and this should come out on Thursday the 7th. Now, after this, as far as beta six goes, this should now start kicking off a weekly release cycle. So we should get another update on the 11th or 12th, and then the 18th and the 25th. We might see a gap in between, depending on what Apple decides to do to hold their event for the new iPhones and Apple Watches. That should be coming around September 8th. As crazy as that sounds, it's really just a month away 
from the release candidate or the golden master and the iPhone 17 series and series 11 Apple watches. So that's gonna be it for this one today, guys. Everything seems to be working pretty well. Let's just go ahead and do one other test here in the stocks app like we normally do and see if everything loads smoothly. And it does seem to be running okay. Let's just go into one of these stories. Yeah. So the big question is gonna be battery life. We will do a follow-up on that to see if it has improved over these last couple betas. But aside from that as well, let me go ahead and jump into iPhone storage. I almost forgot this for you, just to see where the actual system resources are being used. And as you can see, iOS is using almost 20 gigs. And then also system data. I was hoping to see this really drop, but this is still using up over 35 gigabytes. That's insane. It's way too much, especially considering people that only have 128 gigabyte iPhones. Comment down below. Let me know how the beta cycle is working. How are you liking liquid glass? And we will catch you in the next one. Peace.